Would you join me in prayer? May the words of my mouth and the meditations of each one of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our salvation. Amen. Last Wednesday, the children of Wonderland Child Care, just across the street, came to church in strollers four wide and holding on to those dear little ropes that hold together lots of children. You've seen them. Some of us have used them, right? They were crossing the street on Broad Street. They came to the Ninth Street door and then they came into the sanctuary to bring us Christmas. Thanks and joy. They came to sing, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Two and three and four year olds and one was like a tower of power at almost five. There they were, 32 absolutely beautiful children singing and bringing the joy of Christmas alive right here in our sanctuary. One little boy said nothing. He sang nothing. He entered the sanctuary and then he stood in front of me and looked up. Standing tall, he was probably about three inches below my knee with his little beanie covering his ears and his coat all zipped up, he was looking at my knees. If I hadn't looked down, I truthfully would have tripped over him. There were no arms reaching up, no words spoken, nothing like, please take my coat off. Just deep brown eyes that I instantly fell in love with. And I looked at him, I knelt down and I asked him, would you like me to take your beanie and your coat off? And with the very slightest nod of his head, he answered. So there I was, I set to work, beanie off, coat unzipped, and with a little more spin and a move on his coat arms, we had the whole thing off. Now, what I didn't know was he was the only one that had his coat taken off the whole time. So of course, I'm standing there with a coat looking at the other kids, right? No words were exchanged. Just a slight smile, but those eyes. And then he hugged my legs. No words. But the love shared in my smile to him and his smile to me said it all. God's light was shining right there. And his eyes loved me. We want to put words to everything. Believe me, I know it's what I've done my whole life. <laughs> We want to express ourselves about everything. We feel a need to speak about all our thoughts, all our feelings, all our opinions. We need to comment on everybody else's thoughts, everybody else's opinions, all the time. But often our words fail us, don't they? Sometimes words aren't there. Sometimes words don't work. Sometimes words get caught in our throats in our minds, in our hearts, and the other day, in my eyes. Christmas is a time when words often fail us, even though we return them and sing them again and again and again. Our carols and our prayers, our scripture and our sermons, words. But between the words and embedded in the silence and the stillness, we find Christmas. On the road to Nazareth, from Nazareth to Bethlehem, 90 miles, Joseph silently walked beside the donkey with Mary, his expectant bride-to-be, carrying the child of God. As she labors through the night to give birth to her firstborn son, the sounds in the barn accompany the birth of Jesus. In the moments before the angels sing glory, the shepherds encounter the light of God and are filled with fear. And when they arrive at the stable, the shepherds share the good news and silently, scripture tells us, Mary pondered all these words in her heart. Wordless wonder, it happens to us all the time. It will happen again tonight.
in just a few minutes. When we watch the, the drama of the nativity, wonderful, wordless wonder is happening in the work of Christmas. One of my favorite stories comes from a Christian doctor, a husband and wife serving in rural India many years ago. They were serving in a community that was predominantly Muslim and Hindu, and they did so quietly and selflessly and lovingly. Often their patients would ask them why they didn't have a cross in front of the hospital, and they would say, if we do the work of Jesus, it speaks for itself. To heal and to care for you, that's all that matters. In other words, action speaks louder than words. One day, a huge crowd of people approached the hospital. Both doctors went to the front porch to see what was happening. Just as the crowd of Muslim and Hindu neighbors arrived at the front steps, they parted. The sea of people opened, and from the midst of the crowd came a large cross, one which could be seen from far, far away. And the people said together, we want to honor you. We want to honor your God that you have served for the last 40 years. You have represented God to us, and we want to put this in front of your clinic to say thank you. We want the world to know that you represent Jesus to us. Wordless wonder. Wordless wonder is the work of Christians. It's actually the work of Christmas. In the words of St. Francis of Assisi, preach the gospel at all times, and if necessary, use words. May the love of Christmas speak to you and through you, without words, tonight and for the rest of your lives. Amen.